Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can connect MySQL with the Power BI. So MySQL is one of the very common data source or the common database which is provided by the Oracle. Earlier it was an open source one but I guess uh, it was uh, uh, it was taken over by the Oracle more from the enterprise edition perspective. So but the basic idea I wanted to give you is if you have the MySQL MySQL instance running or on the local machine then how you can connect MySQL with Power BI. So right now I have the MySQL which is running on my local machine. So if I just come over here you will see that it is a local instance that I am running and the user is root and uh, it's connected on this particular IP localhost which is nothing but 127.0.0 point one or 127.0.0.1 and then colon 3306 so what it basically helps us in the connection connecting the mysql workbench so if i just click over here you will see that uh, a database is present which is the default database comes from the mysql for the purpose of practice so it's sakila database and it has the various tables like the actor, address, awards, category and all that. And once we will create the connection, we can import all of this data within Power BI for the purpose of data visualization. Now let's go ahead and come to the Power BI. Here we will click on the get data option and within the get data window, we need to search for MySQL. So MySQL if I select I will going to get this MySQL database option and then after selecting it I will click on connect. Once I will click on the connect it will ask me the server which I mentioned 127.0.0.1 and after the colon you will have 3306. Just need to make sure that uh, you are uh, you are having this same connection. So if I just go to this home 3306. All right, and the database is nothing but Sakila. Now, if your database is password protected, it will ask you the password. In my case, it is not, so I'll just click OK. And then this is the database which is present. It may happen that you, you are using Windows authentication. So in case password protected database is there by, via the Windows authentication, that the window will show you how you want to authenticate via the windows authentication or there is a database password so you need to provide that to get the information now over here if you see there are various different tables which are coming and then you have some components as well like the actor film i think th these are nothing but the views that is present and then down there you have some procedures or functions so what i'll take is some of the tables like for example i'll take actor and address Let's say I want to load these two information. So I'll click on load and it will going to take few minutes to load both the tables. And then we will go into the data model just so that we can see if we can identify or create a relationship. Now, if you see, you have the actor over here and it's related fields. And then you have the last, sorry, Sakila address, which has the uh, information about the addresses. I believe these are related to the actor. And if I see you have address, address ID, city ID, but there is nothing which is related to a relationship perspective. So what we can do is first option is uh, we can go into the data and here the table will start showing. So if we select this table or um, over here. So to show this, you just select any field over here and it will start showing you. Similarly, if you come over here, once the table is displayed then as soon as you will select any other table in this case circular address it will start showing you the detail but if it does not show like earlier just select any particular field from this and it will start showing this now let's go into the model so right now if you see in the modeling we have these two tables like actor id first name last name last update and then address id and all but we don't have any other table or any field which is common so in this case we cannot establish a relationship and let's say we want to add any new table then we can come over here which is manage and connect to recent sources so once we click over here you will see the 
connection string that we established so if i just click over here it will start showing me all the tables so we have the actress address awards so let's see the awards whether it has it has only id award name and all um let's select the film or maybe the film actor it must be having the actor id yes so it will help us establish the relationship so i have just enabled that and click load so directly from here you can load the table so as you can see it is loading you the details and by default it has created this relationship and if you will just select it it will show you the actor id is the field on which the relationship is being created so that's about how you can connect to mysql database within power bi import multiple tables and by default uh, how uh, how power bi is able to create a relationship but in case if it is not then you just need to pick this field drag it over the this particular field over here and in that way you are manually enforcing the relationship because you know more about the database because uh, it may happen that those two fields are not same and in that case you need to manually enforce it so that's about it how you can connect to mysql establish the relationship but we'll meet in the next video with some more information about a different database